Hi everybody, it's Brad uh, with another Floriani Total Control U video for you. Uh, today we're going to learn how to export to an SVG file, which is a file that can be read by um, cutting devices such as the Silhouette Cameo Cutter. Uh, and uh, we're, what we're going to be focusing on is taking a, an applique design and uh, exporting it so that you can take that line and have the cutter cut out your fabric for you so you don't have to do it yourself, um, which can save you a lot of time if you're going to do a whole bunch of these. Um, there's two different situations that you're going to run into. One is when you're creating the applique design yourself um, from scratch, so to speak. Um, and two is taking an existing applique design, you know, maybe that you purchased, um, and turning that into a cut line. So uh, we're going to do both methods here. Um, the, uh, the first method is when you are creating the design yourself. Uh, so this can be, um, you could be drawing your own shape or you could be bringing in, um, you know, a backdrop and tracing it, uh, whatever. What I'm going to do just to save time is I'm going to bring in uh, a true type font letter. I'm just going to do the capital letter M here. So this is my outline. So just imagine that I traced this or however you get your, your artwork in. Um, traditionally, if I want to just turn this into an applique, I size it to whatever size I want. I'm going to go down to my digitizing buttons down here, choose applique, uh, and then I could take this and save it. I would then go and sew this out. I would have to go and, let's see, where's your slow redraw in this one? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't used this. Oh, here it is. So we just click and drag here to show you this is it sewing out. Okay, so this is the first part and then it stops. You put your fabric down over top of this and then it tacks your fabric down like so. And then normally we would take our scissors and cut around this and then it goes and puts the satin stitch around it. So what we want here though is to have this outline sent to our cameo cutter so that it can cut this shape out. So before we turn this into stitches, um, I'm just going to go ahead and undo that I turned it into stitches. We're going to take this shape, which really this shape, even though it's filled in, this shape is really, if you go to properties and uncheck fill, this is really just this outline here. That's all that this shape is. And we can take this line, go to file and export artwork, and it's going to allow me to save it as an SVG. So I, you know, name it, um, save it to my flash drive, you know, whatever your removable disk or, or whatever it's called on your computer, save that. That's the file that you're going to send to the cutter uh, to cut out your shape. Uh, and then you would go and turn it into applique, save this file as, uh, you know, whatever your embroidery format is, uh, and then you've got both of the pieces that you need. So that's very, very straightforward. Um, if you're making the, the design yourself, it's, uh, it's not that confusing. However, if you have an existing embroidery design, um, it does not behave in the same way that a... Um, that a design that you're that you're in the middle of digitizing behaves uh, because it's been saved as stitches so if you have a a design that you purchased it will not work quite the same way uh, let's go ahead and see what i'm talking about i have a very simple applique cloud that i digitized earlier uh here it is let's open it up so this shape when i click on it is artwork or is not, I'm sorry, is stitches. So if we look over here in the sequence view, we see this is stitches down here, stitches, stitches. Whereas if I was drawing, if I was creating this, um, let's go ahead and make a new folder here, or not a new folder, a new file here, bring in my cloud shape and turn it into applique. See this, it's showing as applique, right? This, I can actually go in and change around. I can go down to the to the bottom down here and turn it in, in back into artwork. Okay, because I'm it's it's something that I created in the program right now um, and it hasn't been saved as stitches yet. But once something is saved as stitches like this one that I opened, you cannot go in and change it. Change it. See all these all these icons down here are grayed out. So what you have to do is before you open this file, um, you have to check a little box. So let me close this instance of the applique cloud design. Um, and go file open. This time I'm going to choose applique cloud and look right here where it's, it's right under where it has preview. It says convert to outlines. You're gonna have to convert the design to outlines first when you go to open it. So this is your applique design uh, and then you choose open. It has now converted this to outlines and if I look at my different shapes in here, see how this is, some of it is stitches but some of it is runs and it's not all connected the way that it would be if it were one that I digitized, but we can work with this. Essentially what we want to do is get rid of all the extraneous stitches. So the, the first two running stitches we'll get rid of because they're not connected. And then we look in here and we can see this stitch here is unnecessary. 
this set of stitches here is unnecessary and then we're left with the satin path okay this is what we need so we take the satin path and notice my digitizing buttons are lit up down here at the bottom I can turn it back into artwork but look what this does it's actually got two separate lines here which is not what we want we want to have just one of these lines and the line that we want is the outer one so what we have to do this is one piece see it's it's connected right now but we can disconnect it by right clicking you move your mouse over one of the lines right click and choose break apart now we have two separate pieces that we can select the outer part and the inner part we delete the inner part we're left with the outer part that is our shape that we want to turn into a cut line so we simply go to file export artwork name it whatever you're gonna name it cloud shape and I'll put it in my digitizing images folder save okay so now we've got that and you can open up your silhouette software and um, bring it up as uh, a cut line um, it should be noted that you have to have the upgraded version of the uh, the silhouette software the designer edition the um, the the free one that comes with the cutter doesn't doesn't import SVG files uh, but if you need an SVG file out of an embroidery design this is how you do it thanks for watching see you in the next video